Hey guys, my name is Emily Meredith. Um, I wanted to come and share a little bit behind, like the story behind the song Amen Alleluia on the new EP from Ninth and Out. Um, something that I got privileged to write last year, um, mostly last year, finished it up the early this year and then worked with Pastor Craig and the worship team to get it recorded and released with the, with the rest of the songs. Um, the idea behind it, I, I don't remember why, but I ended up in Revelation 19 and if you read Revelation 19, there are a couple different themes that I pulled out for this song. Um, one just being this idea of rejoicing, this glorious rejoicing, um, because you've kind of worked through all of Revelation and gotten to this point and you have seen how Christ has, you know, avenged sin and Satan and is bringing salvation and peace to the world, right? And so you reach this point and it's all of the Verse one, you hear what sounds like the roar of a great multitude um, shouting hallelujah and just praising the Lord. And verse four, you'll notice verse four probably. Um, the 24 elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshiped God who was seated on the throne and they cried, amen, hallelujah, which is where I got the refrain for the song. Um, and at some point in writing, like had some verses structured, but got the idea to like, what if we use that phrase over and over and over, just this amen, hallelujah. Um, and, and did, and I was really pleased with how it just, it brought that theme out of rejoicing. And combined with that, there's kind of this idea of not only are we rejoicing, but we're rejoicing because God is worthy of it. Pulling the rest of the verses in as well. I know I pulled from verse six and seven is talking about the wedding of the lamb into verse eight. Um, and then even at the end of the chapter in verse 10, uh, you have John who is bowing before the angel who's showing him these things. And the angel says, don't do it. I'm a fellow servant with you, uh, which is where I got the idea for verse two of, yes, the angels are great, but Jesus is so much greater. So as you listen to this song, I hope that that can be an encouragement to you and a reminder. Um, and it can bring you to that point of remembering and rejoicing in the salvation that we are, that we are experiencing now, but also bring your mind to just the eternal rejoicing and salvation that we will get to experience in heaven. So I hope that you're encouraged as you are listening to this song. Hallelujah.